Hi guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be using Mask AI with Luminar Neo's other AI editing tools. This is going to give us some incredible results when editing the images. So my name's Ben from Ben's Guide. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But today I'm going to guide you through showing you how to make some quick edits to the photo so that you can really transform the look of your images. This is going to be really beneficial for you if you're looking to improve and up your Luminar Neo game. Now, if you'd like to learn about Mask AI and you haven't actually got to grips with it yet, there's a free video on my YouTube channel. You can go ahead and check it out there and hit that subscribe button so you can enjoy future videos coming on the channel all about Luminar Neo. Okay, guys, I'm ready. Hopefully you are. Let's jump into the video and get into the good stuff. So we've got this really impressive photo right here of this lady sitting on a platform, looking out and creating this whole atmosphere with the way she's dressed and adorned. And I think this is gonna be a beautiful photo to really show you how to use Mask AI and how to use it with other tools to get great results. First off, I wanna start by changing the exposure. This is changing the light of the photo. When you make parts of your photo brighter, this is going to give more attention to that part of the image. So your viewer will look there first. And when you make parts of it darker, this is going to actually make them sit back in the image. So what I want to start by doing is actually make some quick changes. And these are going to be to the lady herself. We're going to make her a little bit more exposed or brighter. And we do that using the develop tool. Mask. AI is inside every single one of these tools and it's great because if we made a global overall change you can see that it affects the whole image. Now we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to create a mask of the lady using the mask AI tool. Clicking on this it's going to look into the image and it's going to identify what it will find and then we'll be able to make a selection with that. So that's taken about 10 seconds to load. And we can see right here that we now have these areas that the AI engine has identified in the photo. We want to make a selection of the lady. So we're going to click on human. This is then going to create a mask of the woman in the image. You can see here that it's done a very good job, but it's not quite perfect, is it? There's a few little areas which could be improved. So we can actually improve these areas very easily using the brush tool. If we click out of Mask AI, what we want to do is we want to go into the mask actions, press on show, and this is going to show the mask that we've created. Now we want to use the brush tool to paint away areas where it's gone over, like on the platform, or paint in areas where it may not have selected on the woman. So we're going to start by using the erase button. This will give us the options to erase away these areas right here. You can choose the size of your brush by clicking on the size slider. And I'm going to make it around about there. I think that's a good size. And then I'm just going to start painting over the area. Now, for the sake of the video today, it's going to be a real quick paint over this area. I don't want to be spending too much time getting rid of these little bits in the image. If we zoom in, we've also got this area here, which we can take care of and erase away as well. OK, so I've spent about a minute now just really honing in on this mask to make it a little bit more accurate. So we've got this beautiful mask of this woman, and now we can actually make changes just to this area alone. So we do that by going into adjustments and in adjustments, we can now push up the exposure to make the woman a bit brighter. Now, like I said at the start, this is going to make her stand out from the image a little bit more. Now, what we can do is a little neat trick inside the masking tool. We can go into masking, then we can go back to the start bit here with the, the uh, tools available. And then we can come down to mask actions and click invert. Now watch what happens. This inverts the mask, which means it now selects everything outside of the original mask. This is brilliant because it means that we can now 
make the exposure of this area darker and make it sit back in the image a little bit more. So now we've done that, I'm going to copy the mask. And what we can do is we can actually add the mask into any different one of these tools inside Luminar Neo. Now it just happens that I am going to use the develop tool. So I'm actually going to just paste the mask in here. Now it's pasted in, it means that we can make that change to the background. So I'm just going to bring the exposure down and look at that. We've got this beautiful separation now between the lady and the background. Now, just by making this quick change, you can see that we've really transformed the look of the image already, but we're going to take some really cool steps next so that you'll be able to see that there's actually so much more that you can do. So this is the image now that we're working with. What we're going to do is we're going to copy the mask that we've got currently. So we're going to go into masking, we're going to copy the mask, and then we're going to add it to atmosphere. This is an AI tool inside Luminar Neo. Now this is a brilliant tool and it does what the name suggests. You can add more atmosphere and create a more intriguing or mystical image. So we're going to go to masking, we're going to go down to mask actions and we're going to go paste. This is pasting the mask into atmosphere AI. Now we can make that selection or that change, should I say, to the area. So I'm actually going to pick up a little bit of haze and add it across the top of the water so it creates this really kind of mystery look or mystical look to the image. So I'm going to press on haze and I'm going to push up the amount slider to add lots of that in. Now if I push up the depth slider, this is going to add it further into the image and you can see it's really giving that kind of mystery look to the image. Love the way that's looking already. The next step for this image, a way that I think we could really improve it, is by actually putting a light inside this lantern. I think we could really add something more to it by doing that. So I'm going to click off atmosphere and I'm going to jump into sun rays. This is a tool that would usually be used for landscapes, but in this case, you can actually use it to add a light effect. So we'll, we'll click on place sun center and you'll see this circle which will pop up. I'm going to drag it in to where the light is positioned. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push up the amount slider. Watch what happens. Look at that. Now, of course, that effect is way too much and it looks a bit like a sun. So we're going to really hone in this effect, make it more accurate. So it looks like the glowing light from a lantern. So I'm going to bring the overall look down which separates the light from the lantern from the background. You can see that the background here is remaining darker if I bring the overall look down and it's just keeping the effect to round by the lantern. Next off, you really want to bring the sun rays length down. Well, I do anyway, because I don't want it to look like a sun in the light. I want it to look like a glowing lantern. So bringing that all the way down. And now I'm going to push up the penetration a little bit so it's just glowing more in that area. Now the Sun AI setting has lots of different settings inside it. So we can see that the next one is Sun Radius. Pushing this up, it's going to add a bit more of a haze or a glow around the lamp. So I like that a lot. Sun Glow Radius is going to do something very similar. And Sun Glow Amount is also going to add it just on a different part. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go into ray settings and make sure that there is no rays because at the end of the day, we don't actually want rays coming from the light. Finally, let's go into warmth. We want to make sure that this light is more orange and golden. This is creating a more realistic look in the lantern. You can do this with sun rays as well and then you can just get that beautiful orange glow. Fantastic. Now, of course, at any point you can come back in and you can make adjustments or changes to this. Now, if you click it off, you can just go into the edit section and this will show you the areas or the changes that you've made to this image so far. You can just click in and make changes right there. Going back into the tools though, I really like the way this image is 
at the moment. But there is more that we can do to it and there is more that we will do to it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get the human mask or the mask of the lady that we had originally. So to do that, I'm going to go back into edits. I'm going to go to the original section. So if I click this up and then come down to develop, the very first change that we made was to brighten up the woman. So if we go into masking, we can copy that mask that we had originally. And then what we can do is we can go back into the tool section. And I want to really make this light look like it's going all over her body. And it's just creating this lovely lighting effect over her. So I'm going to click into toning and then I'm going to paste the mask inside of the toning tool. This means that we've now got a mask added of the woman. And if you want to see that, you can just press on show. And now we have the woman there masked. Perfect. So clicking show off, you can see that we've got the mask in the right area. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the tone tool going into adjustments. And we're going to add a lovely kind of golden orange glow to the outside of the woman. So I'm going to click in shadows, push up the saturation. And then I'm going to bring the U slider, the color, to kind of like a golden color. If you're struggling to see that, push the saturation right up so it looks, well, it looks over the top. But then you can see that you've got the right color initially. So I'd say bringing it to about there is quite nice. And then you can bring the saturation down to make it look more realistic. You've also got this amount slider, which gives you kind of more or less of the effect as well. So we're going to push that to about there. Just bring the saturation up slightly. Now we're going to do the same kind of thing with the highlights. We're going to make sure the highlights have a nice kind of touch of this golden glow as well. So I'll push my saturation up more, change the color to get that golden effect that I'm looking for. Around about there. Then I can bring the saturation down. And that's starting to look really really nice fantastic now there is one filter inside of luminar neo which i adore and i adore it because you can use it push up the slider and it makes such a difference to your photos and that for me is glow watch happen watch what happens i'm just going to push up glow and look how this just transforms the look of the image. I just love how it makes it look more mystical. Now, if you find that this is too strong an effect, and actually in this case, I feel like it might be a little bit too strong, you can either bring it down or you can go into advanced settings and you can make some changes. So you can bring the contrast down so it's not quite as strong. You can make it a little bit brighter And then you can start keeping this image within the confines or the boundaries that it was originally, but just with this soft glow. So we'll switch it off. And now we'll switch it on. And you can see that using this soft glow, you get this almost dreamy fantasy look to the image. I just absolutely love it. Now we could actually leave the image here and I think we've done a fantastic edit. If we look at the original photo, this is how it started. And look how much we've managed to transform it. It's just absolutely stunning. Now, what I actually want to do is I want to add an overlay just to kind of top it off. And I can do that using the layers. So if I click on the plus, I can then grab an overlay from the overlay section. So let's, which one are we going to go for here? I think I'm going to go for, let's try this one. Okay, that's quite nice. So let's just go ahead and increase the size of this. And the main thing about this is we really want to make sure that it's not too strong an effect. So I'm going to bring the opacity right down so we haven't got the effect. And then I'm just going to introduce a little bit of this into the image to give it that tiny bit more depth. Just got this little bit of color, which is creeping in behind her, just adding more depth into the image. And that is really quite special. Now, of course, you can use the blend modes here to make it look a certain way. 
So if you want to, you can experiment with these, but I find screen is a great place to start. And yeah, you've just got all of this at your fingertips and you can start editing straight away. Guys, take a look at the before here. This is the before and then this is the after. I think we've done really beautiful things with this image. And the main thing to take from this video is you can do this so easily. There's not something here which has took me a long time to figure out and learn. This is something just by using sliders and a few simple masks, I've been able to create this beautiful looking image. And it's something that you can start doing with your images moving forward. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. And most of all, I hope you found it beneficial and you've learned something from it. If you enjoy these videos, I just love to have you on the channel here at Ben's Guide. So if this is your kind of bag and you enjoy it, hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to have you. Listen, guys, I hope whatever you do for the rest of the day, it's a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.